I've been getting questions about the synths I use in my beats, but often it'll just be a one shot that I play on a sampler track. So I'm going to show you how I do it. My go to for one shots is splice. It's just easy. I also get my drum samples here. But for now, let's focus on making melodies. Let's go for a synth. Look for one shots. This one. And let's do a bass. This one's fine. In Cubase, you add a sampler track. I'm going to add two. I don't know why my colors are messed up here. That's been happening, but whatever. So you just drag the one shot in. Make sure the root key is set to the actual key of the one shot. And then, and I'm just using my virtual keyboard, Option or Alt K, I can just play it. And you can record it like any other synth. If you want to change the sound of the one shot, you can go back in. You can change the pitch envelope. You can make the notes glide. And I'll leave a link to a video where I show how to do that for 808s because a lot of people ask about that too. You can also add a filter and modify that. And you can modify the amp envelope. And one thing I use quite often, and I'm going to show it with the bass sample. So this one ends quite abruptly. But what if I like the sound of it and I want to play notes that are longer than the sample? Here's how. So here you have two handles, one to set the sample start. And when I use this, I always activate snap to zero crossing so I don't get any clicks. And this other handle is to set the fade length. And when you go here to loop mode, I'm going to set it to continuous. Now you get a third handle for the loop start and here for the loop end. And they also have their own crossfade handle. So how I do it when I want to keep the attack and then keep the note going as long as I play it, I just drag this one out past the attack and then drag this one. So I get a piece of solid body within the loop, if that makes sense. And I make sure that, and the snap to zero crossing helps here too, I make sure that the waveforms overlap, add a crossfade, and then you might have to reposition it if it doesn't sound right, like right now actually. That's not what I want. And now, I get a smooth note that's as long as I need it to be. And you can do this with any type of one shot. And if you turn on legato, you can play different notes without re-triggering the sample. So that's kind of what I wanted to show. I hope it helped. If you want this project to practice, it's on my Patreon. Thanks for watching and have fun making music. Bye.